Uh, princess girl? Stay away from my things. I don't have anything for you, so save your begging. Huh? Oh, no, I wasn't going to. Then don't you dare take another step inside my room. Go on, off with you now. Oh, nice to meet you, too. Mm -hmm. Lots of boys. Boys with instruments. Boys just looking serious. This boy even has his name scribbled all over his for some reason. What are these? They kind of look like books, but flashier. Why do I want to read about what someone wore to the bakery? Or what haircut they got? See? Look! Perfectly good drawers! Does she even know clothes go in there? Oh, flowers! I need some of them. She seems to have a bit of difficulty keeping them inside her drawers. Let's see here. Swan prince on the prowl for glass slipper. Are you the bride-to-be? Audacious bodices. Ten hot tips to getting that body butter bodiced up. Exclusive interview. I am the greatest, says lead mandolinist of hot new band Crochet Vest. Hmm. I'm not sure these will be of much help to me. Or anyone, for that matter. Aha, here we go. There's some coupons in the middle here. Hair salons, makeup, perfume samples. This one looks interesting. Free magic gold thimble. Increase your sewing today by 1,000%. Wow, that's a lot of percent. I'll just take this and leave the rest, I think. Hey, you, peasant girl, stay away from my things. I don't have anything for you, so save your begging. And don't you dare take another step inside my room. Go on, off with you now. Hey, you, peasant girl, stay away from my things. I don't have anything for you, so save your begging. And don't you dare take another step inside my room. Go on, off with you now. The label says cream, but that's not the cream I'm used to. Is she putting it on food? I don't think I would put this cream on my food. Hmm, what is all this stuff? More floppy books? Sprays? Bottles? <laughs> Oh, blah. Stinky bottles. She's really made a mess of this stuff. It's everywhere. I have to admit, that is one comfy looking bed. It's so big, though. I think I'd have trouble getting on and off of it. Uh, uh excuse me, Miss Princess? Huh. Shouldn't you be at the wedding serving food or begging for money or something? Oh, um, no. I don't think so. <sighs> what? What do you want? Well, I was just wondering, maybe I can help you find some shoes that are a bit bigger? Because that one seems like maybe it's too small. It's not small! Ah! I'm putting it on because it's my slipper. Why else? It's no one else's. I didn't take it from anyone. Why? Did someone <laughs> say I stole it? <gasps> Did the Swan Prince ask about it? Oh, uh, no, sorry. I was just curious. <sighs> Take your curiosity somewhere else. I'm busy. Uh, no. Between searching for needles and climbing up and down bales, I've had enough of the stuff. It's fine where it is. Rules and regulations for pigeon post care and management. To have pigeon carry out delivery, tie mail carefully to pigeon's foot with provided string. If string is unavailable, Substitute only with materials comfortable for pigeon to wear. Please refrain from any loud noises directly next to pigeons, as pigeons will attempt to flee. If pigeons leave their designated box, ring bell to have them return to their trained positions. At times, some pigeons may continue returning to an undesignated box, rendering their training ineffective. In this instance, we recommend carefully guiding the pigeon to its designated box. Upon returning to designated box, postal services training should resume as normal. Hmm, he has a tag here that says 11, but that's not the box he's in. Let's get you back to your box, hey? Ugh, you're a stubborn little guy, huh? I don't think I'll be able to budge him. Maybe there's some other way to motivate him. It's fine where it is. An envelope? I guess this must be where the royal family get their mail. It's empty. 
No mail for me today. This seems to be the chute where incoming mail is delivered. Hmm. He has a tag here that says 11, but that's not the box he's in. Hmm. Guess he thinks that's his box, huh? Wow, that's so neat. I wish I could do that. Hey, hello there. Want to hear a joke? Do I ever? The king actually found two women willing to marry him. <laughs> so, you're not telling a joke anymore then? Yeesh, tough crowd. Good point though, that one might get me fired. Wait, I think I know who you are. I've seen you in books. You, you're a, a clown, right? Ha ha ha, radio. And you, uh... Right clothes, big shoes, tied up hair. You must be my replacement. <laughs> no, I'm Anna. But just normal Anna, not clown Anna. Well, I am Ernestine, and I too am not a clown. I am a jester. Do you know any other tricks? That first one was really neat. Do I know any other tricks, she asks. <laughs> I'm a court jester. What do you think? Uh... Yes? No answers, no, I don't. But hey, I have a whole heap of these colored balloons. Ooh, and you make animals out of them, right? That was the idea. I tell you, though, blowing up balloons leaves your cheeks in agony. Never again. In fact, take them away. My cheeks tingle even at the sight of them. Oh, uh, thanks. Hang on. These are just normal round balloons. I don't think you can make animals with these. Who are you, the balloon police? Why are you performing to an empty room? You should be entertaining the wedding guests. I was. The new queen, though. Not much of a fan. She's got a temper on her, that one. Ah, uh, of course. Why doesn't it surprise me when Frida sent you out? That's okay. You're here now. One audience member is all I need. I think I know someone who could do with some entertaining. Really? Who, who? The chef in the kitchen? That old grump? Well, if anyone's in need of cheering up, it's probably her. You know what? I like your thinking, Anna. I'm going. No time like the present. Ah, you did not just drop your dirty juggling toys into my pots. Uh, oops, <laughs> I'm getting a little rusty. <laughs> oops. Oops. Uh, I'll just grab the juggling balls and... No, you will not. Don't even think about putting those greasy hands anywhere near my food. A jester without something to juggle with. Ernestine, you could always replace them with, oh, I don't know, those tomatoes? No. Yes! Those are my tomatoes. Stay away from them. Now, now, you of all people know Master Bernard's given me access to everything I need in the castle. Eh, I do all too well. Fine, but only enough for your tricks. All right, new material. Let's give this a whirl, huh? <laughs> this should be interesting. Mm. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Tomato soup, anyone? <laughs> Hilarious. Now clean it up, funny girl. Guess I'll grab some more tomatoes while I'm at it, too, huh? <laughs> Hi again, Ernestine. Anna, hey girl, what's on your mind? I think I know someone who could do with some entertaining. Really? Who, who? Cindy in the cellar? Cinders. Yeah, she's a good sport. She puts up with me. You know what? I like your thinking, Anna. I'm going. No time like the present. Mm. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Tomato soup, anyone? <laughs> Guess I'll go grab some more tomatoes from the kitchen then. Oh, I feel bad. Let me help you. Like it or not, I got a fresh new batch of juggling tomatoes. Compliments of the chef. Well, back to it. Time to get some more practice in. Hi again, Ernestine. Anna, hey girl, what's on your mind? I think I know someone who could do with some entertaining. Really? Who, who? The pigeons in the tower? Pigeons. 
<laughs> the audience that doesn't criticize. You know what? I like your thinking, Anna. I'm going. No time like the present. Uh, whoops. <laughs> tomato soup, anyone? <laughs> Guess I'll go grab some more tomatoes from the kitchen then. Oh, I feel bad. Let me help you. Like it or not, I got a fresh new batch of juggling tomatoes. Compliments of the chef. Well, back to it. Time to get some more practice in. Hi again, Ernestine. Nana, hey girl, what's on your mind? I think I know someone who could do with some entertaining. Really? Who, who? The butler in the castle hall? Bah, he doesn't care for me. But at least no one gets angry at me there. You know what? I like your thinking, Anna. I'm going. No time like the present. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Tomato soup, anyone? <laughs> Guess I'll go grab some more tomatoes from the kitchen then. Oh, I feel bad. Let me help you. Like it or not, I got a fresh new batch of juggling tomatoes. Compliments of the chef. Well, back to it. Time to get some more practice in. Hi again, Ernestine. Anna, hey girl, what's on your mind? I think I know someone who could do with some entertaining. Really? Who, who? The princess in her bedroom? Uh-huh. Let me tell you, she has a frown that refuses to turn upside down. No harm in trying, though. You know what? I like your thinking, Anna. I'm going. No time like the present. Ha-ha! <laughs> my, my, princess! That's a bold new look you've got there. <laughs> Purple and red, don't you think it's a bit of a clash? Ah, <laughs> uh, Ernestine. Oh, but princess, settle, settle. The wedding is coming up. You don't want to look red-faced. <laughs> Uh-oh. I do say, I don't think the boys will let me live this one down. Ernestine? Ernestine? Oh, right, the jester. I thought I'd heard that name screamed in anger before. Those two really took off, huh? Look at them go. Speedy pair, they are. Seems like Ernestine will be all right, though. That dress isn't exactly part of a sprinter's wardrobe. And hey, on the bright side, I finally got into the room. Well, there's one. That's a start, but then there's also the flowers. A flowerless flower girl. I need to do something about that. I still need another shoe to go with the one I have, too. Supposedly, I need a nicer dress as well. Not that I see anything wrong with mine. Wait a second. Ah, These are no good. They're fake. Ah, <sighs> I doubt the butler would let me through with a bouquet of plastic. Not much to do down that way. Some kind of laundry filled with dirty sheets and tablecloths. Huh? What is that? Something's heading this way. Is that a swan? No, wait. It's a man? Land ahoy! Land ahoy! It's a man riding a swan? Greetings, fair maiden. Uh, Hello? I, the great Swan Prince, have arrived. I have traveled far in my search, experienced numerous hardships. Oh, that's like me. I've been to... Hush now! Fear not, for I am fine. I have survived, my beauty intact, and I feel my quest is near its end. Uh... Oh, sweet turtle dove, 
From whence do ye travel? From what manner of royalty doth your name... Um... You know... What riches doth your name inherit from your parents upon our betrothal? Betrothal? Huh? I feel very confused right now. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I do say... I am flattered you have come to welcome me in, truly. But aren't you a little young for marriage? Marriage? I don't want to marry anyone. Oh, well. Uh, just so you know, waiting upon a prince's arrival, very misleading. Never fear. The one destined for the swan prince's hand remains within. A glass ticket to my coin purse. Oops! I mean, to my heart. I, I didn't say coin purse. And this time, you shall not run from me. For I have really good sword skills now, bound to amaze and enthrall. Uh, glass ticket? In the shape of a slipper. A glass slipper. You get it? It's like, it's a metaphor. The, the ticket, I mean. Not the coin purse. What was that about a glass slipper? Ah, yes. Well, there we were, at my royal ball to find my bride. The most splendid of events. And in she waltzed. Adorned in splendid glass slippers and gown to match. A vision of riches. I mean beauty. Yes, beauty. That's the word. We had a swell time dancing and whatnot. But then she just up and left. So rude. Oh dear. You didn't say something to upset her, did you? No, 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 no. The very opposite. I proposed to her. First she's all, yes, let's dance. The next thing, she's all... I'm not sure marriage is for me. But then she goes and leaves her slipper for me to track her with. Such games they play. Ah, princesses these days. Am I right? Uh, sure. I don't think I understand the swan thing. What's not to get? It is a symbol of grandeur, beauty, love. Like me. He doesn't seem to be moving much, though. It's a real swan. Of course it is. <laughs> He's just... Very obedient to me, because I am the Swan Prince. Next question. I would like to be amazed and enthralled at sword skills. Oh, well, it's kind of a lady impressing thing, really. Oh, please. Please amaze and enthrall me. Oh, all right. You've twisted this prince's arm. On guard. That is what I say to, you know, whoever. The foe, the bad guy person. And then, er, come on. Help me out with a bit of story or motivation or some such. But you've won already. You got him. Well, then I must do this. And I hold for applause and things to be thrown like flowers and whatnot. They have their guard down. Now's your chance. Aha! Then I do this. Whoosh! Like a tiger. No, wait. A swan? Well... I got him. That's all that matters. Then, they attack you suddenly. Aha! Then I do this. A lightning-fast parry. Nothing touches me. Oh, but he... he strikes your sword hand. Aha! Then I... wait. He what? Um... Well, then I must do this. Then, they attack you suddenly. Aha! Then I do this. A lightning-fast parry. Nothing touches me. But you've won already. You got him. Well, then I must do this. Uh, is your swan actually a robot? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am a swan prince, I swear. <laughs> well... Even if it's not quite what he intended, that did indeed amaze me. Hey, that's both slippers now. Great, but then there's also the flowers. A flowerless flower girl. I need to do something about that. Supposedly, I need a nicer dress as well. Not that I see anything wrong with mine. <laughs>